What's going on, family? How y'all feeling? This is Right Mom from the 215. What's good? Uh, this, uh, I want to I wanna talk about misogynoir and hip-hop. Obviously, there have been 8 trillion think pieces on this, so I'm not trying to go far, far into it. I just, there's a, a particular point that I want to, that I want to raise, kind of get in and get out on. Um, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a do it in as compact and efficient a way as I possibly can. Um, first off, shout out to, uh, to Tenji95, who, um, kind of engaged me in conversation about this it, really briefly. And I started to, I mean, I re made a couple replies and I realized it would be easier to do this in video form. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna do my best to make it, to make it quick and, uh, and, you know, terse to the point as it were. Uh, so the specific angle, the specific category of misogynoir that I'm, uh, that I'm interested in talking about is the, it's the hierarchy of, of women. I made a statement, which, you know, is not really controversial if you know what it means, but, you know, could be misinterpreted. I said misogynoir is nearly everywhere in hip hop. Of course, what I mean by that is, uh, is not, as I tweeted, it's not that all rappers are, you know, hate black women. Um, there are plenty of black women who are rappers and love black women and think that black women are wonderful and make lots of dope raps about it. Um, that's not hard to find at all, you know, and if you don't know that, then you're probably deliberately avoiding it, because, you know... Queen Latifah, <laughs> U N I T Y, is a is a prominent historical example. But there's been ton of, tons and tons and tons of of uh, of records about how awesome black women are and how sisters are worthy of respect and protection and all of that. Um, so what I want to get at is the hierarchy, right? So sometimes the misogynoir is is more obvious, you know degrading women, criticizing them, finding numerous ways to debase them and to degrade their humanity or to deny their humanity, perhaps, you know, depending on the situation. That's that's not new information. Um, what I'm referring to is a, a little bit more subtle. Um, you know, there's a lot of this, you know... Uh, all my whips foreign, all my women foreign, uh, you know, and I, I don't want it to sound like I'm trying to say that it's bad to have foreign cars, I mean, their status symbol, I, I have nothing, I have no dog in that fight, as it were, um, I'm not talking about that, what I'm talking about is the idea that and which is sometimes implicit misogynoir, which is, you know, if, okay, if all your women are foreign and generally what people mean is when they say they want foreigns, they not, the, the women who, who are, who, to whom that label is applied are almost never like foreign, like West Africa foreign, you know, the beautiful dark skinned women from West Africa and women of all shades, really, because West Africa is in, is itself very diverse. They're not usually talking about that. They're not usually talking about, you know, the women from the diaspora necessarily either. The African diaspora, like the Caribbean. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Uh, but uh, mostly... That's not who that label gets applied to. When they talk about foreigns, uh, you know, the the women that they point to as the foreign ideal is ordinarily... I'm going to put this window down. All right, cool. Because it's starting to get hot in her. I already got no shirt on. So I'm not trying to... All right. So, who they normally talking about is not the, you know, the more brown skin type sisters. They're usually talking about you know they maybe dark hair 
olive skin is who, you know to whom that label gets applied to often foreigns that they're talking about um and then there's you know there's white women uh so the the, the hierarchy asian women aren't often included they're not very visual in current popular hip hop it's not a lot of not a whole not a whole lot of regular uh mention of of asian southeast asian south asian it's not a lot of that it's mostly the 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 three categories that show up most often are black women um not necessarily being mentioned as black women, but just more as the default, you know, because that's what you know, that's who we see. Then there's the, uh, you know, the white women and the foreigns, right? So, the, you know, preferences are preferences, and that's cool. Um, I'm not interested in that as much as the way that those preferences are framed because if you say you know i don't have no regular type women and and frame that in a certain kind of language it, it makes it pretty clear that the reason that all your women are foreign is because that's the best kind or that's better than black women you know and then white girls are also framed in more or less the same way They're as better as better than black women um, so the fact that no one is, that, that it's not necessarily someone saying, I hate black women, does not absolve the speaker of implicit misogynoir, um, you know, and erasure of black women. Again, I don't think that all of this is like, I don't think that all of this is groundbreaking, but that's the easiest way to explain what I'm talking about in this context of, of misogynoir and, and what it means and, and how it shows up in less overt ways. Uh, I think that's enough. I think I made my point. Um, Please feel free to engage me. Um, jump in the comments if that's what you want to do. I, I'm down with that. Um, feel free to share the video. Uh, hit me on Twitter. <laughs> this would be a good time to plug that. Uh, to, to plug hit me on Facebook, which is a song I did a while ago. But yeah, hit me on Twitter. Uh, at RightMind215. R-I-G-H-T-M-I-N-D-215. Because I'm from the 215. Philadelphia stands up. I love y'all all. all. Stay alive, be excellent to each other.